Hello, everybody. It's Rebecca. Crafting Journey with Rebecca. If you're watching this back on the replay, welcome. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Wednesday is the day that I do crafts other than diamond painting. And today we're going to do loom knitting. Just pulling up the chat. So Odd But Nice is in the house. Yay, Odd. Thank you for coming. So this is where we got last week. Well, I got last week. I on the <laughs> in the one hour I started it and I got maybe a couple of rows, but this is where I am at now. And it's gonna be a little scarf. Um I was thinking about giving it to my granddaughter when I'm done, but this is not a color that she would enjoy. Not her favorite color. Maybe I'll give it to my daughter-in-law. The other thing I've been working on, Crafty Huffer, hello, is the, um, I got an oval loom. Oh my God, I love loom knitting. I just, it's just so cool. Except when you make a mistake. Oh my God, don't make a mistake on loom knitting because it's almost unfixable when you make a mistake. All right, first I've got yarn wrapped all around here. So I've got this oval loom go it's all tangled up right now <laughs> okay here it is <laughs> let me see if i can show you guys all right so this is how much i've gotten done so far so you know it's not doubled over yet so a couple of inches and the color is amazing pink and black which is so cool sorry loud noises so i got this book with this loom and this is what it's going to make, this beanie here. Now, I don't know how that oval makes this beanie, but I guess we're going to find out. But here I'm working on this. I'm loving this, really. Hi, Deborah and Bianca. Hello. How are you guys? So I'm just going to sit here and do this and chat. I'm going to put the yarn in my lap. I think I have the uh, the stitch down. It's um, this is called. All right, I have the book in front of me. The ribbing stitch. Ribbing stitch. I try to get the microphone out of the way. Get you into the camera. I don't have the close up camera on tonight. That is a pretty pink, isn't it? This one is more like this color here is like a white and a a sherbet color. It's a very, very pale peachy color. And my granddaughter hates pink. So I don't know if she would consider this pink. Not sure. So <laughs> I was doing this out in the living room um, a little while ago and I, boy, I had it down pat. Now I've got to think about it again. So it's just this diagonal thing that you have to go back and forth on. And then when you go all the way across and try not to get it tangled. You just turn the board around. It's pretty, it makes it pretty easy to do while you're watching TV, but you still have to pay attention because if you get more than two loops on a hook. If you have three loops on a hook, then you probably went wrong somewhere. So now I'm going to go the opposite direction and going the opposite direction is a little easier because now I can just make sure that I'm not putting more than two loops on a hook. See like right here, we know there's just one loop there. So that's where I'm going to go next. And I, I yeah, because if you make a mistake, you want to catch it pretty early <laughs> or else. Uh, I was working on a hat um, and I can't even show you because of the day that I had yesterday and I made a mistake on the hat and I could not fix it. And the more I tried to fix it, the worse it unraveled. And I just ended up frogging the entire thing. And now it's just one big ball of yarn. 
because that's the mood I was in. Hi, Rebecca. There's my namesake. Narrate is in the house. Thank you for um, loving my work. Uh, I love this knitting thing. I, I, I just wish there were more time in the day. I want to diamond paint. I want to knit. I want to crochet. I was actually I was crocheting before work this morning because I had a little time before I had to leave the house. So I was, I'm still on row four of the crochet along. Hi, Tammy. Glad to have you. Um, you know, and then I get home and I'm doing my loom knitting. And tonight after I get back to my son's house, I'm going to do some diamond painting. <laughs> Just not enough hours in the day for everything that I want to do. And I have to work. And if I didn't have to work, it would probably still wouldn't be enough hours in the day, right? But I have to work to support my habit, right? <laughs> I guess where would I get all this stuff if I didn't work? <laughs> oh, Bianca, hello. Thought I would say hi before I leave home as I have a funeral to go to. Oh, I am so sorry. Well, that is not pleasant. I am sorry for your loss and funerals are, are no fun. I'm going to put the uh, yarn up there. Anita, hello. Nice to meet you. And Crafty Heifer is packing to go to, is it Tennessee? I think she's going to Tennessee. Woohoo, she's going to see the ducks, the duck march. She's going to film it for us. I probably totally have that wrong. Is it geese or duck or whatever it is? Anyway, we can't disturb her. Don't disturb her. She's packing. <laughs> Odd says there's never in enough time in the day. Bianca, you have to drive for an hour. Okay. And then you're going to drive home afterwards? That's a long evening. The Duck March. See, I got it right. Memphis. I knew it was in Tennessee somewhere, and I knew that you were getting there on Thursday. Um, so tomorrow's the big day. She's traveling. I'm so excited. I made plans last night. My sister's not in the chat. She probably will come in the chat. But I made plans with her last night. She is actually going to come visit me in May when I have my knee surgery. And I am so excited to see my sister. I just love her. And she um, loves to do crafts. And I think while she's here, I'm going to show her how to diamond paint. I have sent her diamond paintings, and for some reason she hasn't done them. But I'm going to get her to diamond paint. Maybe sit in my live with us and diamond paint. She's pretty crafty, my sister. Let's see. Okay. So I thought I'd do a few rows of this one. And I'm. it's not as awkward as I'm making it seem. It's just that I, I want you guys to have the sort of a half- camera view at least so I'm trying to do it so you guys can see it so Nareda did one of these that she started last week and she already finished it and it was super long and super cool I really liked it turned out really good Nareda I want to do one with, um, I got a larger loom that this one has 14 stitches and now I've got one that's larger. So I'm going to do a larger scarf for myself when I'm, when I'm done with this one. Probably the same pattern. Um, but I've certainly got plenty of yarn to choose from and more yarn on the way. I have a yarn benefactor. <laughs> if you got to have a benefactor, a yarn benefactor is a good thing to have. Oh, your mom is driving Bianca. Okay, we'll be careful. Oh, yeah, I'm excited that my sister's coming to visit. I haven't seen her since I moved here, so it's been a year. And I miss my sister. 
we weren't close growing up, but we've gotten close as adults. So, and I have room for her to stay here in the house. I've got a, a futon that, you know, Malia sleeps on that actually used to be my sister. I bought it for my sister when she would come to visit. So she's used to sleeping on the futon. Or she can sleep on the couch if she prefers. I, I don't really care. So it is supposed to snow tonight. So my body has been telling me that all day long. My knees are absolutely killing me. I'm like an old lady. I am an old. Look at me. I'm. <laughs> I'm loom knitting, <laughs> talking about my arthritis. <laughs> God, I'm so old. <laughs> oh, God, we got to discuss something else besides my arthritis. <laughs> and Bianca's funeral. There's got to be some good news out there. I know. So, Crafty Heifer, are you doing your live after mine? Are you still going live tonight? I bet you she is. She is. All right. I get to listen to her while I drive because she has those Wednesday wins. And in case I can't type my Wednesday win. <laughs> um. My Wednesday win was that I accomplished the seven day challenge last week with several other people. And I'd have to look up all their names, but it was a challenge that um, Nana of Seven Crafts issued. And it was so much work. Oh my God. I, on no regular basis, could I ever upload seven days in a row. I just, I don't even know what I was thinking doing this challenge, but I got it done. I got it done by doing silly things like origami one day. <laughs> Anita's old too. Welcome to the club, right? Well, when I went to the um, knee doctor to schedule my surgery, the nurse says, okay, after the surgery, can we get you a walker? I'm like, hell no, I don't want a walker. What do I look like, a 90-year-old? She goes, well, what about a cane? I said, I don't want a cane either. I'll just use crutches like normal people. I don't need a walker. And then today I was in my office going, God, I wish I had a walker. Because <laughs> I was hurting so bad. <laughs> yep. I just cracked myself up. vanity heck yeah walkers walkers are for old people that are in the nursing home and i'm not even anywhere near that so i don't want no walker uh oh okay no i'm doing it right just checking i don't want to make a mistake so because that wouldn't be a good thing Noreta says, I welcome my walker when I had my surgeries. Okay, you know, I may change my mind, Noreta, but my vanity, uh, in my initial reaction was, like I said, hell no, but, you know, my mind and my body are not always in agreement. So, years of abuse. You know, I used to um, be a runner and do marathons and half marathons and I think it just killed my knees. And now I just sit around and craft off camera so you can't see. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I will go back on camera. Anita keeps a cane in the trunk of her car. Okay. See? All right, guys. You're making me feel like I should do this. 
but the knee replacement, I'm supposed to be like better than ever. Like, you know, the $6 million woman, right? It's, it's a replacement. They're getting rid of the old, putting in the new. At least that's what I thought. I could be wrong. I know I still have to recover. Where is everybody tonight? Come on, people. They're probably eating dinner, right? It's dinner. It's dinner time. And tonight is the second episode of Survivor. No spoilers. But this is going to be a great season. Better safe than sorry. I know. I know. Oh, I know. Well, at least I will have my sister here to help me walk the dogs and, you know, do meals and stuff like that. Isn't this cool looking? You can't really see the colors. You can't really see that peach coming out, but it's there. Super pretty. Now I could switch to the other one for a few minutes. Let's switch to the other one. This one is really pretty too. Okay, let's see. So this one, I'm just doing like the E-stitch all the way around, which is really easy and, and unless you miss a hook. The only thing I noticed about this oval rings, I'm just doing this little where you, it's an E-stitch where you like making an E as you wrap it around the peg and you're just wrapping it around the peg all the way around. But this particular loom, the pegs um, actually come out. And I'm sure there's a reason for that. There's some pattern that probably calls for you to take a peg out of the loom. I don't know. But so sometimes I'm having to push the peg back into the hole. Can you guys hear me okay? I feel I'm not that close to the microphone. So, but I, I have a loud mouth. Make sure you do your exercises afterwards. Don't wait. You don't want it to freeze up on you. My brothers did because he didn't do what the doctor said. Oh, no, I have to go to physical therapy and all that good stuff. I, no, no, I'm going to do exactly what the doctor tells me because I want this thing to last me a good 10 years before I have to have, you know, a full knee replacement. But the interesting thing that I didn't even know is once you have a knee replacement, you have to get dental prophylaxis anytime you want to go to the dentist and have your teeth worked on or clean. I had no idea you had to go through all that because you've had a knee replacement. But, yep. Nareda says loud and clear. Oh, thank you. Good. Because, yeah, loud. I can I can be loud. <laughs> so i hope you guys um are getting in on the 500 subscriber giveaway um go to the video that says 500 subscriber giveaway details and if you listen to that video it'll tell you how you can enter to win I'm off the camera again. I just went totally off the camera. I'm trying to. For two, I have to do that for two years. Okay. What am I making with this one? This one's going to be a hat um, or so the pattern says. And I have a big head. So this is probably going to be a good thing. This hat. Have I all, Have I gone all the way around? A couple of times. Hold on. Wait a minute. Okay, right. Here. Okay. Sorry about that. Sniffling, guys. Love the colors. The colors in this one are really cool. I got this yarn at Michael's. I wasn't going to go in the yarn section, but... Um, I don't know. I just feel this need to go in the yarn section for some reason. It calls my name. You know, there might be something you haven't seen before. And sure enough, there this yarn was that I had not seen before. 
So I had to get it. I got two skeins of it because I don't think this is going to be enough. But I never do. I always, does, does anybody else always buy two? You should mark your beginning peg. It's where this is. My, where the beginning peg is. But yeah, I think there's markers that go with this that I have some on the way where I can mark the beginning peg. So you have to push that back in. Am I on camera? Hold on. So this part, after you, you know, after you've gone all the way around with that E stitch, you're just taking the bottom stitch. Um, you've got two loops on the on each peg at that point. And you just take the bottom loop and pull it over the top loop all the way around and then just rinse and repeat. This is one I like to do in bed at night because it's a super simple pattern and you can watch TV in your bed and relax and you don't have to worry about waking up with diamonds stuck all over you. So it is supposed to snow tonight. I don't know. Doesn't look like it right now, but that's what they said. I want to go to Tennessee with Crafty Heifer. I wonder what the weather's like there. Isn't it? Isn't that where they've been having floods? Um, is it Tennessee? I know. Al I think Alabama. Somewhere in that area, they've been having flooding really bad. If it's just some random yarn I found, I like, I get at least two. See, odd, you're just like me. Yep. Because you don't know what you're going to use it for. You might need, you might never see that yarn again, right? So you have to buy two. I'm glad I'm not alone with that. <laughs> And then I end up with all this yarn that I can decorate my back in my little cabinet with. It's all full of yarn now. I don't think I'll ever have enough, uh, as much yarn as GB Maltese has behind her and in front of her, but I have a little of it now. <laughs> the thing I like about this, this one here, this yarn, is super, super soft. It's really soft. It's called Yarn B, and it's – I'm still learning about yarn. It's a number four medium. Yeah, see? Nareda sent me this great chart on the different weights of the yarn, and that chart is super, super helpful. I appreciate it. It's in my, um, I put it, it's posted in the Facebook. She posted in my Facebook group. If you guys want to borrow it, it's great to have. Download it onto your computer or your phone or something so you guys can have it handy. Nareda says, I always used to buy yarns and sets of three. Oh, threes. Oh, no, no, no. Don't get me started on threes. No, no, just two right now. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm, now you got to have me rethinking it, Noreta, whether I should buy three or two. I have all pretty, this is, um, I have all these pretty outfits that, that would, this would go with really nice. I can't talk, but look, it matches my, um, logo. Look, see, I put my logo there, right, right, right there, right, right there. <laughs> So
So I was watching today at work the Dreamer Design 2.0 videos. Oh my God, are those canvas? First of all, the canvases, the 2.0 canvases are huge. Um, but they look so pretty. And like one that I was watching had 55 colors. Okay, Nareta says crochet uses more yarn than knitting. I did not know that. Anita, you're crocheting baby blankets. <gasps> nice. For anybody in particular, Anita, anybody having a baby that you know of? Holly Cole, hey, just woke up. Can you show the scarf? So this is the, yeah, this is the hat. This is the scarf that I'm making here out of this really soft yarn. Um, when I finish this row, I'll go back to the scarf and work on it for a minute. Yarn B is hippie lobby yarn. Is Oh, I think you meant hobby, hobby lobby yarn, or do you mean hippie? <laughs> Deborah says, yes, I saw that video. Oh, yeah, you saw it too. 55 colors on the streamer design canvas. But um, I don't know. Somebody mentioned that maybe because they're supposed to come out with five new artists on Wednesday next week, a week from today. And somebody said maybe Chuck Pinson is one of them. I don't know. That would be super cool. And the reason I have never ordered from Dreamer Designs is because I never liked any of their designs. So if they come out with something that I like, maybe it would be worth trying the 2.0. I don't know. Anita says she has two great grandnieces. They are already born, so I'm behind. Oh, you better hurry up. Rebecca says he is one. Oh, go Chuck Penson. Oh, that is cool. So if they're going to do Chuck Penson, now I will have a place to buy from. Since I can't buy from Diamond Art Club, I can start buying my Chuck Pensons somewhere else. Woohoo! Oh, I did mean Hobby Lobby. Nareda says something about money. Something about money. Yeah, I'm sure I'm going to need money to buy those canvases. Yeah. But, and then I've been waiting for Treasure Studios to um, come out with their rewards program. Cause I want that white rabbit canvas, but I'm not going to buy it until the rewards program comes out. But I did talk to Rachel uh, yesterday or the day before. And apparently China is back uh, full time, but they're very, very behind. So, but they are shipping canvases now. Um, it's just going to take them a while to catch up. And she does expect the reward program to be rolled out very, very soon. Tammy is off to church. Okay, enjoy, honey. Deborah says they don't have much of a selection. I, they didn't used to, no. And that's probably why I never ordered from them before. And I think I saw... Jeremy do one of their canvases and he was not happy with the way the colors turned out. So I just kind of steered clear. Um, but the 2.0 does have my interest. I mean, you have to at least try it, right? Chuck did a very pretty winter scene for diamond dots. Really? I haven't seen that. Nareda says the new releases are going to have quite a few sizes. Ooh. Okay. Well, they said five new artists, so I'm I'm they have my interest. People are trying to uh, give Diamond Art Club a run for their money, and I'm I'm happy for that. Always happy when when we have another company to choose from. Uh, 
Oh, <laughs> Dreamer Designs, not Diamond Dice. Okay, you said DD. So, <laughs> so that winter scene that um, she was working on in the video was that a Chuck Penson? The one with the kids on the and the dog and the kids were on a. Um, they were playing in the snow. What is that thing like? A tubing in the snow. Is that a, a Chuck Benson one? Sixty new designs and Jean is in the house. Hi, Jean. You missed me talking about you. I was I was saying all kinds of nice things about my sister and you weren't here, but now you are. I'm not going to repeat them. You'll have to watch the replay. <laughs> okay, so um, this, this is a hat and this is a scarf. So I'm going to go back to working on the, the scarf for a little while. I'm just kind of switching back and forth. So this if you just came in, I'm just working, um, you know, the rib stitch, which is a diagonal one way and then a diagonal the other way with, um, you just want to make sure you always have no more than two loops on the hook or you've gone wrong somewhere. Jean, when you come to visit, I'm going to teach you how to diamond paint and crochet and loom knit oh you're just gonna leave being a, a big big old crafty person when you leave <laughs> i have all kinds of plans for you odd says it's all gonna be epic it is gonna be epic but it's not till next wednesday we have to wait a whole week but that's okay We can wait. It's not like we don't have anything to do. Crafty Heifer's going out of town. I will be uh, working on, I want to get, uh, make some headway on that um, <sighs> Valentine's canvas. I'm going to try to work, dedicate most of my time to that now until the end of the collab, which is the 29th, so I can Hopefully get it. See, now there's only one thing on this hook. Where did I go wrong? Where did I go wrong? See now, uh, darn it. But I caught it early, so I'm going to undo it. Hold on. Hold on. I don't know where I went wrong. So I, what, I just start over <laughs> because... I was yammering and I missed a hook or something. I don't know. So my sister called me last night, Jean called and she's like, I missed your live. I'm like, it's Tuesday. <laughs> she's like, oh, okay. So now she's here. All right, I don't want to miss, okay, this way. I gotta, I gotta pay attention. See, now we're starting to get into the peachy color, which is it's gonna be pretty. Creative Mayhem, hello. And Jennifer, everybody just got off work. What do I hold on to? I don't know, Jennifer. It's a leap year. Do you not, did, did, you, did not know that? Yes, it's a leap year. So I'm doing um, the, our collab um, finale will be on the 29th. So Mayhem says, hey, hey, we're all visiting Lily at school, but wanted to stop in and say hi. We'll say hi to Lily. Thanks for coming by, though, Creative Mayhem. I'm making a scarf. Look. 
and a hat. Look at the color of the hat, guys. Isn't pink and black? Oh, so cool. And I put in the link for the new Facebook group with Crafty, with um, it's called Creative Craft Addiction, and that's with J Rob and Creative Mayhem and What's that girl's name? Oh, Crashly something or other. Yeah, Crashly. <laughs> she ain't here, so I can make fun of her. Odds going on a, to a wedding on Leap Day. Oh, so they only have an anniversary every four years. That'll be interesting. I dated a guy once who um, his birthday was on the 29th. So he didn't celebrate his birthday, but every four years. Jean says she may join. No, go ahead and Jean, join. You should because it's for diamond painting and all kinds of crafts, just like my Facebook group. Go ahead and join. Um, the difference is they're going to be doing some live, um, some fun live stuff in their Facebook group. And blue eventually in your hat. I don't, is there blue in there? It's gray and black. I don't know if there's any blue. I don't know. Sharon. Hi, Sharon. Hey, I was wondering if you have your seven-day challenge so I can watch. Then you find out the question. It's um, It would be the video that has, it says, um, 500 subscriber giveaway details. It's that video that you need to watch. Um, and pretty much everybody in the comments already knows the answer to the question. So <laughs> you could just leave a comment. I won't, I w it won't bother me if you don't go back and listen to all the videos. And boy, did I get copyright claims on those videos where I was singing. I had no idea that you were not allowed to sing uh, music from The Sound of Music. But I will never do that again. No more, you know, do re me in, in, in my lives or in my, um, yep, can't do it. Not allowed. I'm not monetized, so it doesn't matter, but I I had no idea I wasn't allowed to sing. <laughs> I don't sing that well anyway, so it's not it's no big loss to the community that I can't sing. <laughs> I said it looks blue to her, probably because of the loom. Yeah, the loom is like a turquoise. But yeah, this is what you're seeing here is a gray. All right, let's see. So for my 500 subscriber giveaway, I'm going to do a random comment drawing. Sometime next week, after everybody has a chance to leave a comment, and I will give away um, an ever moment up to fifty dollars of your choice. And if you want to get two small ever moments that don't amount to fifty dollars, I mean, you know, that's up to you. I I don't really care. I ordered an ever moment um, for someone and over a week ago and the darn thing still has not shipped. So I'm don't know when that person will ever get their ever moment.
odd says we can't even break into song. Nope. I can't, you know, like I like to like hum and sing, you know, me, I like to like break into song every now and then. Nope. Can't do that. Or at least not, not with music from the sound of music. <laughs> I guess I could sing something else, but yeah, just have to make sure it's a song that's not copyrighted. Deborah said it looked blue to her. That's why she said she liked the colors. Oh, so now you don't like the colors? That's okay. <laughs> it's it's pink and black and gray. Yeah. Jennifer, Jennifer, I've never heard you sing. <laughs> if you ever break into song, I'm going to remind you, don't sing. <laughs> You'll get a copyright claim. Well, I kept seeing all these copyright claims on some of my videos. And I'm like, what did I, I know that, you know, the get up challenge had a song in it that you weren't supposed to, you know, but I kept seeing them on these other videos and I kept wondering why. And I'm like, oh, those are the videos where I broke into song. And um, yeah. <laughs> oh, well. Gene says, Scott's brother sent him a meme that said, think before you pop that bubble wrap. It's Chinese air. <gasps> Gene, <laughs> that's terrible. Oh, my. Well, you know, I guess stranger things have happened. I don't pop bubble wrap, or at least I won't anymore. Sharon says, I went to order two customs from Evermoment, one for my uncle. Oh, I want to order two customs. One of my uncle, his horses, and my cat buddy. Ooh. Um, Treasure Studios, I understand, has nice customs as well. I've never ordered a custom from them. But um, maybe some people in here have. I don't I could tell you about their experience, but um, that could be another option. Of course, I mean, the, either way, they're both coming from China, so it doesn't really matter. It's whatever you prefer. I, yeah, I mean, I like squares and I love the ever, ever moment squares. Ooh, I'm getting into the peach. Yay. All right. Now I got to pay attention. So I think next week um, I will give you some updates on my crafts during my Wednesday craft with me Wednesday. Cause I've got, I'll give you updates on these loom knitting things. I'll give you an update on my um, crochet along blanket. I'm on row four and um, I will be starting a uh, floss tube where um, and then I can give you an update on that, you know, on my cross stitching. But I think most of my cross stitching, I'm probably going to do, I'm going to record. Because it's kind of hard to cross stitch and talk to you guys and keep up with chat. Uh-oh, what happened? What happened? Wait a minute. This goes here. Okay. Uh-oh. Did I mess up? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I hate this. I messed up. I don't think I did the second row. <laughs> nope. I did not do the second row. Hold on. Or did I? Nope, I didn't. What the heck? What? We're starting over. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> Pay attention, Rebecca. See what happens when I get to talking? I can't walk and chew gum at the same time, much less...
All right, this time we're gonna do it both ways. All right, there, 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 okay. Now we gotta go the other direction. I still have to get dinner. I don't know what I'm gonna have for dinner tonight. Jean says it's therapy for her. And Jennifer says how, this is how craft channels keep the suspense, color changing yarn. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. All right. I did it right that time. Yay. Nita's got to go. Nice to meet you all. Catch you all later. Nice to meet you too, Anita. I'm I'm only in here till seven, but it was great having you. I'm here every Wednesday. Um, feel free to stop by. This is exciting. So Marissa, who is packing for her trip, I'm curious, what craft are you taking with you? Are you taking a diamond painting or crochet? Or Oh, I bet you she's taking cross stitch. I think my bet is Marissa's taking cross stitch with her. That, I bet that would probably be the easiest thing to travel with. I know, Jennifer. I know. Ooh, Survivor. I probably um, won't watch it till tomorrow, though, because I'm going to be driving home and listening to Crafty Heifers live. Um, yes, I'll, I'll catch it on the. I'll catch the replay of Survivor. That way, I can fast forward to the commercials anyway. Cause I got to get home and feed the dogs, feed myself. Cause you don't want me to starve to death. <laughs> yeah, that ain't gonna happen. Oh, I like it. I'm finally getting into the color of this yarn. Yay. Debate? Heck no, I ain't watching no debate. Are you kidding me? Jean, come on. It's me. <laughs> I am not watching a debate. <laughs> I'd rather watch paint dry. <laughs> watching the debate. <laughs> you could get thrown out of this channel <laughs> talking like that. <laughs> So are they preempting Survivor for the debate? Come on, no. Did I just do that mistake again? Come on, Rebecca, pay attention. I think I just did it again, <laughs> dear. All right. We know how to fix it. We have the technology. Okay. Or maybe we don't. Dang, gum it. Oh boy. Okay. What happened here? All right.
This is the part I don't like about loom knitting. If you make a mistake, oh man. Okay, here we go. So yeah, I did the same thing. I just didn't go the other way. See, Jean, what you did to me, you're talking about the debate and it got me all flustered. <laughs> Jean says it's a Netflix night. <laughs> oh, the debates on NBC. Okay. I thought that was like one of those things they put on all the channels. So, oh, good. It's only on one channel. So what's on NBC that we watch? Nothing. CBS is Survivor. So we're good. Or you can watch Netflix. I still haven't started watching that Lock and Key show. I want to. Um, okay. But I have not started it yet. According to Crashly, it's a very good show. Did you start watching that, Gene? Um, Lock and Key? Oh, listen to my stomach. <laughs> it's growling. <laughs> All right. I got it. Second time's the charm. I did it right this time. Oh, it's Jean's fault. Always it's my sister's fault. That's why we have sisters, so we have someone to blame, right? I didn't do it. She did it. I was the oldest, so I could always do that to her. Nope, wasn't me. <laughs> You haven't been watching Lock and Key. You're messing with her Chicago shows. Oh, I used to watch all those Chicago shows, but um, I missed a season, and then I couldn't find anybody that was showing that particular season, so I just stopped watching it. If they ever start show the season that I missed, maybe I'll watch it again. I don't know. But I'm not going to pay for it. Holly says, I hated when my sister did that. I'm the younger one. Oh, I'm sorry, Holly. <laughs> there are advantages to being the older sister. Yep. One me. One me. I had a younger a sister and two younger brothers. So, yeah, I played that card a lot. One me. And truthfully, it wasn't me most of the time. It was fucking, Gene says it was Carl. Yep, it was our brother. <laughs> She's right. <laughs> look, look, it's going to be a scarf. I know, it's going very slowly. What, Nareda pumped that thing out last week? Man, I was shocked. She had that thing done in no time. I'm going to take this to my son's house and work on it. Um, I'm going to get it. I'll get it done, Nareda. You will not be the only one with a scarf. She started hers last Wednesday, and I don't know. I think she finished it on Friday or Saturday. And it was a big old long scarf. It's gnome size. That's correct. <laughs> I'm probably going to give it to Malia. If she promises not to lose it, she loses everything. I think last year she lost three jackets. I don't know how many hats.
So we got five more minutes before the Crafty Heifer goes live. Um, guys, that's Marissa. She's headed off to Memphis, Tennessee. So, um, and she's always a good time to listen to. She could talk about her Wednesday wins. So start thinking of them. I um, will be back next week where I'm going to give you an update on all of my little crafts that are going on here. Um, and then we'll work on one or all of them. We'll see. What? Tequila makes her clothes fall off, Jean. What are you talking about? <laughs> Holly says you can make it longer than it can wrap around a couple of times. I know because Nareda made hers pretty long. So maybe I'll, I might do that because, you know, it's going to be pretty cold. I should just make it for myself. You can never have too many scarves. And this was a pretty one. Oh, Malia. Yeah. <laughs> So, guys, check me out on Instagram. I do post um, updates to all my crafts on Instagram, pictures of um, all the different things going on, the cross-stitch, the crochet, the loom knitting, the diamond painting. Um, join us in our Facebook group. And if you haven't ordered Color Street Nails, the party is over. But... Let me know if you still want to order something. I think she's holding the party open until a few people get paid on Friday, which is awesome. Okay. There we have it. A scarf. This is a gnome scarf. <laughs> but look, the pink is coming out. Is it coming? Yeah, see the pink? I don't know if you can tell. It's so light. You can't even tell. But the peach is coming out of the top now. That I, I'm so, I'm so thrilled at myself. Look what I did. Isn't that cool? All right, guys. Thanks for coming on this journey. Uh, if you're watching on the replay, thanks. Consider subscribing. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the time we spent together tonight and um, I will see you all next week. Don't forget, tune in right now to uh, switch over to Crafty Heifer. She's a hoot and a heifer. A hooter and a heifer. She is one of the hooters and heifers. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Good night.